Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Brenda if you are new and on my channel I talk about all things that smell good. Mostly perfumes but that could get into or it could go into things like wall plugs, um, candles, anything like that. Air fresheners, car air fresheners, anything that smells good that I think you all may be interested in. Um, perfume oils, <clears throat> things like that so it's mostly fragrances though so on today I'm going to be talking about about maybe 10 perfume oils that I absolutely love from the scent for you and if that's something that you think you'd be interested in watching then let's go so it wasn't long ago a couple of videos back um, that I did a video on the ones that don't work for me from the scent for you and today i'm going to be talking about the ones that i love and the ones that are also long lasting i have a couple that i know are um long lasting but i think for the most part all of these would be because to me a lot of them when i you know even take the top off to smell them um I can barely smell them so in my opinion the ones that I can smell from the top without even rolling on I feel like they would be um, some good ones and some long-lasting ones ones that you wouldn't even have to layer a couple of these I did layer but they're all from like let's go ahead and start because I want to start with this one because I wore these to work one day and I have three vanilla oils here um, the Madagascar I have Egyptian vanilla and I have vanilla vibes now I I wore all three of these to work and this were and I worked 12 hour shifts these were bangers they lasted they had a scent trail I know because a young lady asked me was this oil or perfume and I let her know that it was oils and she said I can tell because oils last a long time and they just wherever you go she said I could smell you um, after I had passed and when she came to me I was in the break area and that's what so I know that these right here these three do last but I also wore them together so I have not worn either one of them on their own I am I am loving vanilla and um, I'm like I'll just I'll just layer anything vanilla so those three I do love and I love them by themselves I think I remember I think I remember when I first got the Madagascar that I really wasn't a fan but look guys I have been wearing this I've been wearing this one more than I've been wearing the Egyptian musk and also a little more I think that I've been wearing the vanilla vibes so I am loving this so those are the vanillas the next one you all know I always talk about it is this bitter peach I love this this is you know um, Tom Ford's bitter peach I just love this I just love this and I can't wait to um, the summer to bring it back out so that's bitter peach all day on your clothes all day it will last I know everyone is not a fan of bitter peach but I love it and um, it's, it's strong and it lasts this black orchid I wore this I put this in one day you can kind of see where you know I have used it they they really do I now I must say they really do a good job of these things are almost like right at the top so they do a great job for two dollars and fifty cents they do a great job at filling them up so I tried this one when I first when I first got it um, I got it because I heard you know when Michael Jackson passed um, huge fan of Michael Jackson um, but I heard that he wore this and so when I saw the oil I said I wanted to get it to see what it smelled like and 
it does smell good. I think this is another Tom Ford Black Orchid. I think this is another Tom Ford's perfume, Black Orchid. But it really does. It smells good. I like it. I do like it. So I put this on one day. Um, I was home. I think it was. I, I was off. I took a late shower. I put this on and it projects really well. So I'll say I really... I really can't tell you like how long it lasted, but this does last. It lasts, it projects, it is strong, it is very good, I like it. It is one that I would reach for. So this is Black Orchid. The next one is Chelsea Nights. This, mm -hmm. I believe I have not worn it yet. But I can smell this. I can smell it through the roll of all. And this is strong. This is strong. And I'm going to give you an example. Um, so this is Chelsea Nights. This is strong. So when I, when I open, and I've used Mojave Ghost, but when I open this, I can barely smell it on the roller ball. I can roll it. And it just seems light. That doesn't mean that it won't last, but what I'm saying is the ones that I have not used that, that I can smell like really strong through the rollerball, I feel like to me that they will last. Um, they don't have to be, but there is strong. And so if I'm, if I'm going to wear this, and I feel like it is strong because I think it is. And then I'll get to work. And But first of all, I'm going to carry it with me. Because it's small, right? It can fit right in my pocket, right in my purse. It can just fit. So I will take it with me. And I will test it to see how long I can smell it. Of course, I'm going to put it all. Now, you all know to make a lot of things last longer, um, if you're like me, You'll put it on my clothes. On I'll put it on like this hoodie right here is soft. I will put this on my hoodie. I will put it on my skin. I will put it in all of the pulse points place. And then I will rub it in my hands. And I will put it on my clothes. I'm not afraid of that. It Oils, I do it all of the time. Oils do not mess up my clothes. Um, I don't mind doing it now. Don't get me wrong. There are certain clothes that I wouldn't I wouldn't put it on anything satin or certain materials, anything silk, anything like that. I wouldn't go to bed in an oil, not like that, until it has really absorbed in my skin because I don't, you know, necessarily want it on my sheets like that. I want it to smell. It can smell on my sheets, but I'm, I don't want the oil on my sheets, if you get what I'm saying. So that's what I mean when... Um, if I haven't really tried it out yet, that I feel like it would be strong, but it will not hurt anything to just, you know, re-roll. We wouldn't re-spray. We would just say, apply some more. Okay, so that's Chelsea and Nights. I feel like this one is strong, and I do like the scent of this. And I have to tell you, I have to tell you, you know, when you're, when you're purchasing fragrances, a lot of them, you know, things like that, you all know how it is. Sometimes you just cannot get around to everything. And so, I think I talked about this in another oil video, you know, that I don't know how long oils last, but hopefully, I just purchased these like less than six months ago. So hopefully they will last longer in the year or two to come that I will still be able you know, to use them and they won't go bad on me. So the next one is Grand Soir. I've talked about this. I've talked about how strong it was. I love it. It is amazing. I've worn it once or twice. I told you all I got another dupe of it um, by Kirk Francis, Mason Francis Kirk Dijon, MFK. Um, this is good. This is strong. Um, yeah. Yeah, love it love this this is good so and that is that and now this is Delina I've worn it a couple of times but honestly I've had so many Delina scents 
you know, that I just don't reach for Delina anymore. I still love her. She smells amazing. You can smell this. Oh, it smells like all of the dupes. Because <laughs> I don't have the original. Never smelt it, but it smells like all of the dupes. It smells amazing. So if you've been wondering and um, wanting to get Delina from the scent for you, yeah. This is good. It is strong. It is amazing. And I do think that it will last. The next one is YSL Libre Intense. I've been wearing this. So you see that I have worn this one. This is another one. Mm -hmm. So strong. Definitely smells. Yep. Libre. I've had the original Libre. And you all know that original Libre. It, uh, you know, to some, it leans a little masculine. I never thought about it that way, but, you know, but this smells just like it. Just like it, but this is the intense version. I do have the, um, I do have the Libre, the original Libre, and I must say that it is lighter than the intense but it's the same DNA. So I wouldn't include this. It may last, but it's not, it's not powerful. So if you've been wanting to get one that you haven't, I would, um, I would suggest the intense version over the original. And if you don't want it that loud, then I would get the original. Okay. I have two left. And one is, and you all can see that I have been using this. This is Gentle Fluidity Gold. Y'all know how I feel about this. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love this. Smells so good. You know, I got the velvet, um, the velvet gold from Orientica. Smells just like this. I also got the, the Kalon from Okja. And um, it's definitely the DNA. It all smells the same. But I have a, um, what would you call it? Uh, a travel spray of the original coming. I've been wanting to get my nose on that. So this one is strong. I love it. It smells amazing. And yeah, this is a good one. It lasts. It lasts. The last one I feel like will last that I have not tested yet is Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This thing is strong right at the top, right at the roller ball. It smells really, really good. I like it and I can't wait to sample it. I have not tried it, but I do believe that this will be a good one as well. I have some other ones in my collection. Like I said, I probably have over um, 60 body oils by now. But um, a lot of them, I got to get around to them. A lot of it, you all know how that is. You know, it just takes some time, some time. So this was a video that was requested, um, wanting to know some of the stronger ones that I have, ones that will last. So... I hope this helps. Um, in my opinion, these are strong ones and ones that I do. Um, some I really, really enjoy. Some I think I will because I haven't tested them yet. You know. So, um, thank you for watching. That is the end of the video um, on the perfume oils from the Scent for You. Very affordable. You know that is what I do over here. Um, I'm not cheap, but I do like a lot of things, a lot of scents. But the thing is, to me, um, I don't think you have to spend a whole lot of money to smell amazing. And um, that's just it on that. These oils, I want to try other oil companies, but I just kind of feel like, like, I just, I just don't. I, I, I just... 
I just don't. I don't want to pay $5.99 when I can get one for $2.99, when I can get two for almost the price of one. It just, in my head, it just doesn't make sense. And I don't want to be duping a lot of things. I don't mind, like getting several oils that I already have the perfumes for, but I don't want to try just different oils to see if, you know, they smell the same or anything. Does that make sense? I, it makes sense to me. Um, and I just don't want to do that. So, um, because if I have the perfume, then I can just layer it with the oil. So, um, and, and even in my perfume dupes, I don't want like several of those. Before I started my channel, I had a couple of, because I still do now, I have a couple of Delina dupes and I have a couple of Baccarat Rouge 540 dupes. I don't even want to purchase another dupe of those fragrances because <sighs> I've enjoyed the smell. I want to smell something different now. So, um, so yeah, so that's just me. So, Thank you so much um, for watching. Thank you so much. I love you all, my new subscribers, my old subscribers, all of my subscribers. I tell you that all the time. I love you and I mean it. I really do. And I thank you so much for um, following, going with me or meeting me in the fellowship hall, in the comments. You know, that's my new, that's what I'm calling you all now in the comments to um, just meet in the fellowship hall. Because I know you all know what a fellowship hall is, right? You know, I know there have been on occasions where, you know, we've had pastor's anniversaries and the dinners are over in the fellowship hall. You know, we have so many different things going over, going on in the fellowship hall where we greet and hug and talk and sometimes we're talking too much and holding up the lines and things like that but yeah so if um if you like the video if you have any other subject suggestions on strong perfume oils from the scent for you that you have tried let me know in the comments let me know either way if you like some or if you don't like some it's okay because we don't all like the same thing, and it's cool. We don't have to um, agree on everything. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Continue to be the wonderful people that you are. Continue to love on yourself, smell good, try something new that you haven't tried before. <laughs> I definitely do. I enjoy it. I don't like them all. But I enjoy most of them. Y'all know I'm a blind buy all the way. I will blind buy in a minute, in a skinny minute, as they say. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Encourage one another. Encourage um, a friend. Uh, encourage yourself. Sometimes we have to look in the mirror and say, girl, you got this. Girl, you got this. You know, I'm going to tell you a short story. Short story um, concerning this wig right here that I purchased. Now, I purchased this wig from my local beauty supply. And that's why I'm telling you to encourage yourself. Because you can do it. So, I knew that I liked the wig. But when I got the wig, um, it was too brassy. It was too brassy. Um... So I went to YouTube and I looked up how to tone down a blonde wig. I'm telling you, we can, and it's just like perfumes. There's something, there may be something in it that you don't like, but you can test these and you can try to get it to where it's likable, it's doable. Okay, I can do that. So once I did that, and as you all may notice, when I first put this wig on, it was a little curlier. So what I did, after I toned it down, I took my flat iron and I flat ironed it. It's a synthetic wig, so you know we can't take it up too high. What I'm saying is, you can make it work. You can make it work for you. Now, everybody might not like this um, color on me, but I'm here to tell you. A lot of people have given me compliments on this wig because I looked in the mirror and I said, I like this. I like this on me. And as long as you like it, it doesn't really matter 
what everybody else likes. So many people, you know, it's about like looking in the comments when you're looking for a perfume. Some people will say, don't buy this, run, run. But if I'm like, if I want it and I see like 10 comments versus 50 that say it's good, I'm going to try it. I'm going to blind buy it. There are things that we can do to make it work for us. So whatever that thing is in your life, you know, if you want to do it, make it work for you. As long as you like it. And everybody else, that's their problem, not mine. Because, honey, I'm going to wear this wig right here, put me a little gloss on my lips, and I'm going to keep it going. Okay? So I just encourage you, don't let people stop you. You know, we need people, yes, but if you like it, go for it. Go for it. As long as it is healthy, it's not hurting anybody, and you know, that's just how I feel. Honestly, I said I was going to end this video. I've talked three more minutes. Honestly, I have never, I have never ask people's opinions on anything. Maybe I should have, <laughs> but I've, I haven't. I will look in the mirror. I will look in a full length mirror when I'm wearing things, you know, and if I like it, because I know what I like, I know what I don't like. And if I don't like it, I'll take it off. But if I like it, I'm wearing it and I am being confident as I wear it. So in our perfumes, in our hair, in our whatever, be confident about whatever it is. Because when people see confidence, oh, they'll, oh, she wearing that. Oh, she smells good in that. Oh, she, you know, whatever. But, you know, but that's just my little rant. Take it with a grain of salt. That's just how I feel. And, you know, that's my, um, just thought of the day. So, um, take care. I'm going to end it now for real. I love you. God bless you. Until the next video. Bye, y'all.